Hi everyone and welcome to Gertie's Sewing Show where we provide non-stop excitement for the sewing nerd. Today I have a really exciting episode. We're going to look inside a vintage dress. I bought this amazing vintage dress on Etsy. It is from the 50s. It has that classic 50s silhouette, full skirt, very fitted bodice. It's extremely tiny. It doesn't fit on any human or dress form that I've encountered. So uh, we're just going to look at it flat here and then we'll open it up and take a look at the inside because there's a lot of cool stuff going on on the inside. It has a built-in crinoline, um, an inner corselet, and a waist stay, a lot of great stuff inside here. So first let's just kind of talk about the outside. The most unusual thing about this dress is that it zips up the front. Uh, when I saw it on Etsy, the seller had, this is the front, which is actually the back. But if you take a look at the shaping of the dress, it has a lot of seaming and darting up the front and it releases to fullness in the bust. This definitely does not go on the back. So this is definitely the front of the dress and you can see when we look inside the corselet that there is bust shaping inside there as well. It has raglan sleeves, which means it has these little seams underneath the sleeve, but it's almost like a gusset shape. See how it meets in a point underneath there? Uh, there is elastic underneath the sleeve to hold it really close to the body. There's a lot, like I said, a lot of darts and seaming throughout to, to make this really shapely and then to make it flare throughout the skirt. Very, very full skirt. Uh, it's a beautiful fabric. It's like a red, very um, dull, not shiny satin. It's gorgeous. So um, let's open it up and take a look inside. So we have a, a metal zipper with a centered application. Of course, you know, metal zippers are really the only kind you see in dresses of this era, so they have a very special sort of vintage touch to them. Now, first thing you'll see when you open it up is there is a second zipper right underneath there. And what this is, is this, the, this is the corselet, which is an inner bodice that is meant for support, which attaches to the built-in crinoline. So let's open this up a little bit too, and you can see there are a couple different fabrics in here. There's a facing on here in case this corselet peeks out at the top. It's made out of the same fabric as the dress. And then it's made of like a nude colored file in the rest of the corselet to blend in with the skin tone. If we unzip this second zipper, the first thing you'll notice is this little ivory colored grow grain ribbon waist stay at the waist. This has a hook and eye so it can close here. It's meant to hold the bodice to support everything, all the boning from the waist up so that you're not hiking your dress up all night. And then if we open this, open up the corselet, this is very beautiful. You can see there's vertical boning all throughout here, spiral steel boning. There's quite a bit of hand stitching in here. This red thread uh, is where the facing is stitched onto the corselet here in case it pops out throughout the bodice because it does do a little peekaboo effect at the top, which is really cute. Uh, the waist stay is stitched on by hand. It has these little hanger straps right here so that you don't have to hang it from the actual sleeves. So let's take a look under the skirt now. There's a lot of cool stuff down here too. Uh, beautiful full skirt. One of the things that you'll notice is that you can't really see any of the stitching. It's very well hidden. The hem is very smooth. And if you, when I lift up the hem, the first thing I noticed inside this dress was it has a, um, a horsehair braid, sort of two inches or maybe even three inches wide horsehair braid inside here to give the outer hem body. Uh, it's one of my favorite techniques to give a vintage style dress a full skirt with a lot of body is to use horsehair braid. And this one is tucked inside the hem. The hem is turned up about an inch and a half and then the horsehair braid is stitched along the bottom with machine stitching. The hem is turned under here and then stitched to the horsehair braid. So they had to do a lot of easing in of the hem because it's a very full skirt. You can see that there's a little bit of gathering stitches going on here. The uh, seam allowances are pinked, which is your standard seam, seam allowance finish in sort of dresses of this era, in 50s dresses. You don't see serging or anything like that. So uh, very common for its era. And then my other favorite thing about this dress is the crinoline. It's a lining slash crinoline. It's made out of this really interesting, I have no idea what this fabric is. It's like, um, it's very gauzy. It's sheer, but it has a bit of body to it. Um, I haven't seen anything like it before. Um, I imagine it's cotton. It um, has a sort of slubby weave to it. 
and the entire skirt is lined in this and at the bottom there are two ruffled gathered ruffled flounces so you have you get a lot of extra body here at the, the bottom of this lining and then both are turned up and they have uh, for the hem and have some rayon seam binding that's zigzagged on so between that very full crinoline and the outer skirt with the horsehair braid in there, you're going to get a lot of body and fullness without having to wear an extra crinoline. So this dress really has everything that you would need, especially if you were small busted, you wouldn't need to wear an extra bra with this because you have the corselet, you have the built-in crinoline. So it really is a beautifully thought out dress. Uh, the brand is actually Bonwit Teller, which was a, a department store in the 50s in New York. And um, so it was store bought. And it's kind of amazing to see all of these hand stitches inside a dress that was bought from a department store. You definitely wouldn't see that today. So I hope you have enjoyed all these little details inside this vintage dress, this gorgeous dress. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Gertie's Sewing Show. <laughs>